So we've received the mini electric chainsaw. It's a four inch portable cordless electric chainsaw made by Saker. Uh, we received this free of charge to do a review of it. Um, so I've already actually opened it up and charged the battery, but when it comes, the battery wasn't charged. But you can see Kind of a typical standard 20 volt battery. It comes with a charger. Didn't take very long to charge. I haven't really looked at the saw yet. It's actually about a four inch, it says four inch uh, blade, but I don't think that's quite four inches. Uh, little safety guard on it. So you safety, yeah. So you have to push that button in order to pull the trigger. That's certainly not something that you would be out cutting your winter supply of firewood with. But I think as far as our use on the farm, it could come in handy, like for clearing uh, limbs around the hedgerows, sticking out, hanging out in the field, along the fence. Sometimes you'll have moldy flora rows and some Russian olive that'll grow up along the fence. This could probably be, probably be pretty handy rather than lugging a full size chainsaw around, especially, you know, if any more of my shoulders bother me, you know, up over your head, this would be a lot easier. I mean, I don't, I don't know if it weighs. It looks light. Pounds. It is light. You get with the battery on it. Paul's checking out the instruction manual. Does that look easy? Yeah, I just want to see where they give you a little bottle of lube. I'm just wondering, I guess you just kind of... Would you put, put that on, on the, the chain. chain? Yeah, on the chain. I just didn't want to make sure that it wasn't for any other points other than the chain. It's unseasonably warm. November 3rd. We're in t-shirts. Not a cloud in the sky. It's gorgeous. So the instruction book says that there should be like two to three millimeters of play in here in the, in the chain. It feels like it might be a little tight. So they give you a couple extra little tools. This is just to loosen up the bar so you can adjust it with this little screwdriver. It's pretty much just a miniaturized version of a standard chainsaw. I turn this counterclockwise. back off the chain a little bit. Yeah, it's maybe a little too loose. That ought to be good. Take her back up. Seems easy. Seems like it. And then they say that's what they give you this little bottle of oil. They say to lubricate the chain between each battery recharge. Push 
should have gloves on to pull on that, just so you don't cut yourself. But did you hear that? You should have gloves on. Probably a good idea to make sure the battery's not in too, just to make sure you don't accidentally kick this thing on while you're a messing punt. with the bar. Yes. All right, so put the battery in. Like I said it'd be handy for clearing some brush, so. We'll come over here and we'll see what it does. All right, so this is like a one inch thick limb, so let's see what it does. I'm about to do it pretty yeah. easy. See what it does, I'd say this is you know, two and a half, three inches. Oh wow. It actually works than I thought it would, given the size of it. It's a lot easier than holding a, a regular chainsaw up over your shoulder. How much does it weigh? I'll put it on the scale. It's, it doesn't weigh much at all. Probably about oh, that's pretty thick. The thickest that you would want to cut with it, I'd say this is that's easily three inches or so. Oh. It goes through it pretty quick. Yeah. And you can see this is a. Uh, this is cherry and it's dried out, so it's uh, it's definitely a hardwood. So I'll go around and uh, I'll just use it to trim a bunch of different limbs and let you know what I think as far as how long the battery lasts. And, uh, and, yeah. and so far I think it's, it's a handy tool to have. Like I said, we could throw this, just have this sitting in the side by side and you're, you're not having to fire up a heavy you know a heavy saw just to you know do, do small limbs like this stuff that falls over on your fence probably even good for uh, uh for trimming the fruit trees in late winter some of the bigger limbs that a lot of times i use loppers but sometimes uh the limbs are a little on the big side for for those even i mean it, it, it could be a handy tool to have around and Pretty quick. Yeah, it works. It, actually, it works better than I thought it was going to work. That's kind of our personality. We expect the worst, so we're always <laughs> pleasantly surprised. You, see, you, think, you know, a chainsaw. Come on, but you know, it's not intended for making, you know, putting up your your firewood. But, you know, especially an electric chainsaw, you don't think much of what an electric chainsaw is going to be, but... It's good for this purpose. Yeah. It cuts well. Does it feel like it's starting to like slag at all? Uh, yeah, we'll see how, how long it goes. Yeah, that's awesome. These are the kinds of vines I like to make my wreaths with. Yank them down out of the tree.
find some bigger ones. <laughs> doesn't want me to videotape the hole in the back of the shirt. How did you get that? I don't remember. <laughs> so we went up to the house for Paul to get his glasses. Safety first. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Be nice to get rid of those. Wonder how that would work trimming the bushes around our house. The bushes? Yeah. It's probably better on bigger limbs than. Yeah, that wouldn't work. Okay. <laughs> Hedge clippers. Look at that. Try some other What kind of wood is that? What's that? What kind of wood is that that it's going through? Uh, I'm not even sure what this is. Okay. Try to see how long it'll last. So I thought you were doing. So I'm going to speed this up since he's just doing it to see how long it lasts. I noticed the little flap, the guard, um, helps to keep the wood pieces from flying up in your yes. face. And there's not much at all, at all that gets comes up towards your face. I mean, if you're, you know, cutting over your head, obviously the stuff you get in your eyes. But so far, everything's deflected down. I mean, I've cut quite a bit with it, as you can see. And, I mean, maybe the maybe it's slowed down a little bit, but not really much that I can tell. I mean, it's it's still going. So overall, do you think this is going to be handy for you? Yeah, absolutely. Um, like I said, I, I'll probably just leave the thing sit in the side-by-side, -side, along with all the other tools on the dashboard. But uh, I think if, if there's one thing that might be handy for it, is if there was some sort of a cover that could slide over top of the blade, 
just to help protect protect the blade or else other stuff that I sit it in with that it's not getting oh yeah it's not you know bouncing around and and uh, you so know gouging you know other stuff that that's in there with it but um, yeah, other than maybe like a, a sleeve that could slide over top of that and secure you know secure on the back side of it just to keep it on that way you could you could put it throw it in a toolbox or something and, and not really worry about that blade rubbing up against other items. I just asked Paul, weren't you going to run it until it runs out of battery? And he says his arm, his arm ran out of battery. I'm getting tired. <laughs> so, so the battery life seems pretty good. <laughs> We're happy with it. So overall, I would say that I was a bit skeptical when we received this uh, mini electric chainsaw from Saker. Uh, you know, it came, you look at the box think you know really that's a chainsaw but it, it's really not your typical chainsaw when you think of chainsaw and it's not intended to be that um, I would say if you've got to use for something for some pruning or I would even say this might even be handy to have on a camping trip I mean it's light enough compact enough uh, to go into a backpack it weighs just under two and a half pounds with the battery attached uh, and the amount of cutting I've done with it I mean for an overnight trip or something it would probably be pretty handy to have along uh, you know on a camping trip like I said for use on the farm here it'll definitely come in handy keeping the, the electric fence lines cleared and even in the orchard in late winter when we do some pruning, some of those bigger limbs. Um, it'll definitely come in handy. And I would say for, I think on their website, it's like 89 bucks. I think it's a decent value. Uh, you can also, as far as the those little chains, I was thinking, boy, uh, where would you get those? But you can get them right off their website. A uh, pack of two is like 22 bucks. I couldn't find anywhere in the uh, in the book here where the what the pitch of the chain is or anything for sharpening it, but you probably just take that and match it up with a, a file, you know, just for keeping an edge on the on the chain. Um, but no, it's it's not it's not a bad little saw. Like I said, I was very skeptical how how this thing would perform, uh, but I, I'm impressed with it. And uh, it'll be it'll be nice to have it around, like, like I said before. I'm going to leave this thing right on the side-by-side -side so that it's always at hand. And, you know, most most limbs that fall across the fence, a lot of times, you know, this will take care of it. But, you know, there will be those times where a tree falls on the fence and I'm going to have to break out the big saw. But this will definitely have a, a place on the farm. And I appreciate them sending it to me. Take care.